it is August 22nd, I think. It's the end of August, not quite September yet. And my chickens have already started to molt. It feels a little early, right? This lady right here is, okay. Of course, I try to show one chicken and they all get right in front of her. You're a good boy. Okay, like I was saying, she is a really good example and you can see how her feathers look really patchily missing right up front. Now feathers missing on the top of the back like that is potentially due to rooster damage and this pen in particular too, they were dealing with a pretty nasty lice infestation, but these feathers right here, you see how ruffled these feathers are and you can see the pin feathers starting to grow back in. That is a telltale sign of chickens molting. See those pin feathers right there? Those are feathers growing back in. You can also see those feathers coming in really nicely on her back right there. And what this lady is going through with that many feathers missing is what we consider to be a hard molt. Chickens will go through many molts in their lifetime. They actually go through several molts before the time that they're like nine weeks old as they're going from those like cute little fuzzy chick feathers and starting to grow in their more like teenage and then adult feathers. That ugly teenage phase that they go through, for example, is a result of one of their juvenile molts. After about nine weeks of age, once they kind of start to feather out, they don't typically go through their first hard molt until up until about about like 18 months of age. By the time they're 18 months old, they probably will have gone through at least one hard molt. Now the hard molt is what I just showed you where they're like really look scraggly and bad and they're missing feathers. And then sometimes they'll go through a soft molt and you may not even notice that it's happening. From that point on, they may or may not go, you may or may not notice them even going through a molt every year. This is one of my Moran's ladies who is also molting. Another thing that you'll notice is, is if that your chickens are missing feathers for like any reason, whether it's due to external parasites or feather plucking or rooster damage or whatever, oftentimes they will not grow in those new feathers until molting season comes around. Even though you've remedied the problem, it'll take some time for those feathers don't just grow back in right away. You have to imagine that feather growth takes a whole lot of protein and nutrients to create. So during this time, it is a reasonable idea to supplement with higher protein feeds. You'll see like feather fixer feeds or all flock feeds are higher in protein and offer higher protein treats and vitamin supplements just to help aid them in this process. Other than that, there's really nothing to do. This is a very natural process for them. Chickens molt for a number of reasons, but think of it kind of like the opposite of shedding. Part of it is them getting in like their winter down, their winter coats, let their feathers keep them warm and dry throughout the winter process, and just to improve overall feather quality and actually for the roosters to even improve their overall attractiveness for the hens. I swear that really is a thing. Google it.